Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, fitness management and consulting, and I appreciate you being here at the channel today. And for you folks that have not yet done so, you know, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you enjoy the content that's provided, please hit that like button as well. I appreciate it. And our topic for you today, it's common member service mistakes. Common member service mistakes. Uh, number one, <laughs> Over automation. Does that ring a bell for anybody? Over automation. Yes, automation is important. Yes, you want to do it. Yes, you want to duplicate yourself. Yes, you want to you want to do as much of it as you can. But don't do so much that you lose the human element here. You know, one of the key things about the fitness industry is, is the human connection. Okay, don't over automate this things. I mean, I, I, we, we fight this all the time in sales. Sales staff, all they want to do is they want to email and, and text people. I mean, call them. We got to talk to people. Okay, do not over automate. That's number one on our member service mistakes. Number two is failing to listen. Failing to listen to our customer. We, we get our standard responses and instead of listening, you know, what are we doing? We're simply waiting for our turn to talk. Listen to your customer and let's get this resolved. And hopefully let's get it resolved in their favor. Let's help them out. Let's, let's, let's listen to our customer. Don't just, you know, wait for your turn to talk. Number three, being reactive instead of proactive. Now, let me tell you what I mean by this is by and large we know what the problems are going to be okay and so let's put processes and systems in place so that when those problems come up we are proactive with it we're just not reactive because what what happens when we're reactive is we have very much a tendency if we're not careful to become very much a victim of circumstance here a little bit and i'll give you an example you know on the customer service side is is simply a customer service book, which can be an online version, but a customer service book. So a customer calls up and maybe they've got a complaint or question about their, their membership card, about classes, about maybe they want to complain about something or maybe it's billing or whatever it is. We're going to take their information down and we're going to let them know that someone will get back with them within 48 hours, within 24 hours, whatever it might be. Here's our process. Here's our system. We are being proactive with this. And then we're going to research it, and we're going to call the customer up with hopefully a solution. Okay. The reactive approach, customer calls up. We respond incorrectly, correctly. We don't know. But we don't have all the information. Customer gets upset. We lose a customer. So make sure we, we're proactive in what we're trying to do. Number four, do not undervalue your customer service staff. And I know on this channel, you know, we spend a lot of time talking about staff training and we talk about, you know, sales training and all that. Same thing for our front desk. I mean, we want to be training. We want to have a, a, a front desk meeting every single week. Okay. Training how to interact with customers, how to, how to, how to, uh, how to greet customers, how to talk with them. And like, as for, I'll give you an example. You know, one of the simple things we can do, customer comes in and they have a complaint. Mary, I understand. You know, we should be giving you better service than that. Doesn't mean we're rolling over, we're laying down. But Mary, hey, I understand. We should be giving you better service than that. Let's see if we can get this resolved. And then do your darndest to get it resolved. Okay? You know, using, you know, maybe your customer service logbook. Okay? And then number five on our list is not giving customers what they want. Okay? Now, we can't give them everything that we want, right? But the, the point I was making there earlier is let's see if we can get this resolved. And if we can resolve it in the terms of what they're looking for, let's do it. Okay? We don't, we're not trying to make this. We're trying to, to win and you lose. Let's help the customer win. I'll, I'll say this. If, if we truly satisfy that customer and truly get that done, this is a great opportunity to lead itself into another sale. I mean, I tell people all the time, we get into a, a, big, a big facility. You've got, you know, big sales staff and, you know, the guy at the bottom, he goes, well, Jim, the staff is so big. You know, where's my opportunity? I say, you know, go volunteer. Volunteer to handle every complaint that comes in. And so every complaint that comes in, Mary, I understand, you know, we should be giving you better service than that. You know, let's see if we can get this resolved 
and get it resolved. Work your darndest to get it resolved. And as soon as you do, guess what? You have earned the right to maybe ask for a referral. You've earned the right to maybe show an upgrade presentation, an add-on presentation. Okay, you've earned that right. Okay, and so, you know, Mary, tell me, how long have you been a member? What kind of goals do you have? Mary, how would you like to get your results twice as fast? Because when you resolve that complaint, you know, from where I sit, that's the highest level of customer service. So take a look at these five steps, these five tips. You know, what can we do to improve this? Many clubs, they fall short on a lot of this. Okay, we think we do a good job, but the numbers don't necessarily reflect that we do. You know, member usage, you know, our communication with our customers, a lot of things come out and say, maybe we're not doing quite as good as we could. So folks, my name is Jim Thomas. My company is Fitness Management Consulting. If you found the information beneficial, please hit the like button. Look forward to chatting with you real soon. Hope you all have a great day.